I am a person who trusts her palate. I was like this when I was little, but now I'm not sure if I can still trust little Merve's taste buds. So today, we will try again those strange flavors that little Merve loves to eat. I will rate and comment and see if I can still trust little Merve's taste buds. Our first story, friends, is onion, bread, and mayonnaise. Now you will say, how can onion, bread, and mayonnaise be a strange recipe? It was a weird recipe when I was little because you eat onions and bread, by the way. Onion and bread is nothing you can't eat. But mayonnaise, why do you squeeze it straight away? Now the real story of this is like this. When I was little, my friends never slept at night, and I still don't. But when I couldn't sleep at night, my father would always stand over me. You know, like a creep. Waiting for me to fall asleep. I can't peel this because my father and I get very hungry at night. I'll take half of this, just like this. God, I'm gonna slice it. I'm gonna hit it like this. Okay, I'll do it. It'll be easier now. What am I, master chef or something? I'll do this. I'll go back to the story. My dad and I used to put onions in this bread at night when we were really hungry. Then we discovered that bread with mayonnaise is also good. So we squeezed mayonnaise into it and started eating it with onions. And it became our routine. After a while, my dad and I ate onion, bread, and mayonnaise all the time. So let's see, I liked this taste a lot when I was little. I'm still not sure I like this taste now, but we'll see. <laughs> it looks horrible. I'm unprepared. I didn't like it at all. Then how come I liked it so much at night? I mean, I was so happy. Maybe sometimes I stayed up so we could eat it, but uh... I don't know. Does that smell come from there? Are you uncomfortable? How do you eat this? <laughs> how do you say that? I'll call and you can tell my dad. By the way, will dad remember? I wonder. My dad says he never ate anything like that. <laughs> he can do it. Oh, he's busy. He must be praying right now. Dad? Hello, yes. Are you free? Yes. I wanted to tell you something. When we used to live in Amazra when we were little, do you remember how you and I used to eat onions and bread at night? Squeeze mayonnaise in it. Yes. Do you really remember? It's not mayonnaise. I'm making that right now. Onion, black pepper, red pepper, olive oil is good in onion. Yes, it is. <laughs> I remember we used to squeeze mayonnaise, put onions on it and eat it with bread at night. You were angry with me because I didn't sleep. We also had mayo, but it was separate. Was that separate? We used onion, lemon, and olive oil and ate it with red pepper. I still eat at night. Sometimes I put tomatoes in it. Okay. I used to only eat onions. I wondered if you'd remember, but you remembered right away. Yes, we did. We ate it with mayonnaise. You won't believe it, but I was just praying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Dad, I'm sorry. No, no, I'm done. I'm free now. Okay, okay, thank you. I was just joking about it. I said my dad must be praying. I was joking again. You really were praying. I'm sorry I interrupted your prayer. It's all right. Okay. Take care of yourself. Sunday, bye-bye. Bye-bye. May God accept your prayer. He really remembered, but the way he continued made me laugh. Would you believe it? I'm still eating it? I never expected him to say that, but I give him two points for that. I mean, it's not nice. When you eat it, you feel the pain in your nose. It's bad. You said you sometimes yes. stayed up. Kids normally do that for lollipops or something. Oh <laughs> Onions are very miserable for a child. But now you have to think about it like this. It means that I want to spend time with my father so much that even if it's mayonnaise and onions, it sounds perfect to me. That's what I thought. But I can't rate little Merv's taste buds. Two, so it is. Come here, brother. Come, brother, come. You try it, you try it. Without me? Having a veggie whooper. Meatless whopper? Yes. Let me smell it. Well, Merva, it doesn't smell good. Something really bad, I guess. Sometimes I really think you're an NPC. Why don't you taste it? Let me try it. Just taste it. It's neither good nor bad. I mean, something in the middle. How does it taste? Are you burning? Disgusting, disgusting. I give it one point. I don't like it at all. 
Two plus one is three. Onion bread got three from us. Let's move on to the next recipe and you go away. Our second recipe, or rather the story of our second recipe, because you can see our second recipe. What am I going to make more or less? I'm going to make yogurt with fruit. The story of this is as follows, friends. In the old times, you know, maybe your mothers have it too, being thin. That's why when my mom was little, there were always these Activia fruit yogurts. It has a fruit yogurt that speeds up the intestines. She was always buying it and I wanted to eat it so much because she would never give it to me. She never made me eat it. If she made me eat a spoonful, maybe I wouldn't crave it again. But I was craving it so badly and that's why I was secretly making fruit yogurt for myself at night. Let's see if I get the same feeling as I did then. I'm gonna crush it now. I couldn't crush it. I felt like it would be easier with a fork. I was feeling so left out because she kept telling me these are not for children. Either feed a spoon to your child, what the hell? If I had eaten a spoon, I probably wouldn't have done such things. How could I have done this when I was little? If you make them very small like this, it's much easier to crush them. Little Merv would probably be very happy if someone told her that. Yes, I'm going to put yogurt on it now. Lots of yogurt. Let's throw it away like this. By the way, when I was little, I used to eat yogurt a lot. A lot. I ate yogurt alone. I don't know why. Other than that, I told you that my mom wouldn't let me. My mom really didn't let me do anything. She wouldn't let me do anything. And when I was little, in the same way, I really wanted to cut bangs. She wouldn't let me. And I went and cut my own hair from here. But you know, there's no way to cut it like this. It's like this, this is like this. I'll probably put the photo here. I met the world's scariest haircut that day. My mom went to the barber, she cut it like a boy. And I never grew my hair out again. That was the end. This is as long as it grows now. I hope I will grow it out, but the worst thing you can do to a child is to make a girl cut her hair, especially a boy's haircut. Don't do it, parents. How could I eat this when I was little? It doesn't work. A lot, it has to be a lot. Is this a weight loss recipe? <laughs> <laughs> this is a recipe for not losing weight. I'm up to my mouth in sugar. By the way, really friends, I was born and raised in Ankara. And I even met the shopping mall in my high school years. I was 13 years old. It wasn't that far away, but the mall wasn't that far. Let me see. Isn't it too sweet? No, it's beautiful. Too bad, by the way. Since the sugars don't dissolve in it, they can't be combined in this way. So the sugars don't dissolve. But you know what? It's better than onion bread. That's why I give it a nine. You know what's worse than onion bread? Porridge. A porridge with nothing in it. It's a very bad option. I hope none of you eat it. You won't have to. I mean, unless you end up in prison, I think you probably won't. Does anyone want to try it? Have you ever actually eaten something like this in your life? This is one of Little Mervy's most beautiful creations. So you can enjoy it and eat it. I didn't eat anything like this growing up. It's not bad, it's really good. Yeah. But. In the back, my brother was saying that it tasted very bad. You know those in grocery stores? Yeah, Stana. Yeah, it sounded a little better than them. Sounds good. Wow. The reason I don't like them is they're a little too low in sugar. I like them because I like sugar a lot. I think it's better. Sounds like it. I used to love sugar when I was little, but I don't like it as much. I don't like Make it this, this much. Good, we'll, we'll eat this. Eat That's what we'll eat. The next recipe is a much worse recipe. But yes, let's move on to the next recipe. Our next recipe is cheese, and it says inigal meatballs, but it's not inigal meatballs. Normally I bought the right one when I came, but I forgot. Normally, friends, there are these meatballs in BIM, ready cooked meatballs that turn red when you throw them. Actually, they are normally those meatballs. When I was in high school, my mom wasn't home for a very long time, like a year and a half. My mom wasn't home and I had to learn how to cook during this period. It was a very difficult period for me, but the good thing was this. I had the opportunity to eat good things. I mean, I had the opportunity to do my favorite things like this. My favorite thing is to put cheddar in every dish. I like that a lot. I like to squeeze cheddar between the dishes extremely much. Now, I don't know if this meatball is gonna have what's in it. It's like it was so good before. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to squeeze it in. I'm a person who hates touching meat, by the way. Oosh. 
Very bad, very bad. Normally that meatball would open up like this and I would push it in like this, but this meatball is a different meatball. Inigo meatballs. I'll get a few more meatballs out of here. My God, what kind of meatballs will this be? I wonder if little Merv would be happy if she ate this. She loved it. <laughs> Swedish? God, what am I doing? I hope it'll be good. Can I remove this? <laughs> it smells like tuna. Why does it smell like that? Okay. Let's fry it. Friends, I just felt very uncomfortable like this, touching the meat. This is actually a very big reason for this. I really feel as if I am touching that animal and it is very disturbing. I think everyone has experienced this when they were little. There may be some who haven't, but the vast majority of us have experienced it. Watching that animal die on the Feast of Sacrifice by looking into your eyes is very dramatic or sad. Since then, I think I've been able to say that I don't like eating meat very much, but we do. Now I'm going to taste this. I hate veal, by the way. I eat chicken, but I don't like veal. It stinks. Is this the way to cut it? Swiss boy. Oh man, I have no idea. I really don't, by the way. That's what he'd take. Veal stinks. It smells really bad. I'm dying right now. It's awful. Do you know what this smell made me think of, friends? When I was little, I was extremely uncomfortable and hated the smell of eggs in the same way. And my mom used to make boiled eggs every morning. She still does. And every morning, she asked me if I want to eat boiled eggs. When I was little, I used to keep the hard-boiled eggs that my mom made in a box in the back of my closet. After about a week, the whole house was infested with ants. Then I got a great beating, a great beating. This smell reminds me of that and it's awful. I can't eat this. Uh, one. Oh, I'm sorry, this is bad. It smells really bad. It's really bad. Taste it. I mean, classic. It's normal. Now that I don't have traumas like you, it tastes good to me. You're gonna say it's good then. Dude, normal. You don't say standard. Now you're saying that it smells so bad and you're ecstatic. I think it's normal. He should be enormous right now. My Swedish buddy, eat please. It's <laughs> Vichkanka. Oh, perfect. <laughs> His face is like this. <laughs> I'm giving this one point. It's really bad. I gave it five points. Get out of here. One. We're going to have something wonderful to settle everyone's stomachs. The other recipe. Oh God. It came out of my ass. Here's the recipe for our next story, friends. My father is a person who prays every prayer in the mosque. And every morning he wakes up and wakes us up. And he wakes us up like this. Zuleha, don't be late, Zuleha. Now forget about my voice. I'll put my father's voice here. I mean, my father's voice. <laughs> <laughs> he used to wake us up every morning with that sound, but our psychology was not disturbed because my father's tea smelled so good all over the house. I wanted to get up. I wanted to wake up. But at the same time, my ears were in a lot of pain. We were unhappy waking up. But we were happy at the same time. Now I'll put some cloves in. I put some buds in. I put regular tea in and I'll put some cloves in. Oh. That's as far as it smells. It was good after the onions. It was good after the onion. The cloves will help. Okay. Now, until this is ready, friends, I'm going to show you another recipe. The story of this recipe is as follows. I had a friend when I was little. I had a Swiss friend whom I admired very much. He would always say, was I putting cheddar on Nutella? Was I putting Nutella on cheddar? I was eating it and it tasted so good. Or something. I'm going to try that now. This will be ready in the meantime. Here we have one slice and one chocolate cream. I'm not hopeful. I really don't have any hope. I'll cover my nose.
You can't not like it now. Then I don't believe it. It's awful. After a while, the cheese lost its flavor. It's gone now. I only tasted chocolate. You have, you have no taste. I can't be the only one thinking like this. Brother, you come too. Let's see this Swedish friend of yours. Swish. It took me to a very different world. Yeah, did he take it to that thing? Did he take you to Sweden? Yes, Sweden. So I went to Sweden and came back like that, but nice, it's not bad. I gave it two points. I give it six points. I gave points. it three points. Here, here's the taste. Six points is good taste? Is that enough? It's not enough? They're friends of a friend of mine from Corum. You know how you put Coke in chickpeas? You don't put Coke in chickpeas, by the way. You put chickpeas in Coke. He was throwing bread in Coke like that. That's terrible. It's not rational what I'm doing right now. Really. I send my respect to my friend who did this. I send my respect, but I'm doing something irrational right now. I'm doing something irrational. It's not normal. I think maybe you were doing it to annoy your mom or something. I don't know. Please come rescue me. God forgive me, it's too bad. I don't have the courage. Please come. You loved her a lot when you were little. I wonder if you'll like it now. I like Coke. I like bread. For another, I like the consistency. It's wrong in the first place, but we will eat. It's good, but not as good as when I was a kid. Yes, it is. I mean, it is. It's good, but it's still not as bad as you make it out to be. I think of it like a moist cake, but cola. It's just not. I think it'll be better if the acid goes away. Oh no. It should be forbidden to eat this. It should be forbidden. It's not that sweet. I think maybe it's sweeter when the acid's gone. Shh. <laughs> Onion and bread for me, please. There's nothing to say. I'm not even giving this one. Zero. Let's have a happy ending because the tea is really good. I still think the tea will be perfect, unlike this. It smells really good. I haven't put it in yet though. Now I'm so scared. Rabbit blood. I could smell it from here. It smells really good. It's my dad. It smells like my dad. Oof. It's so bitter. <laughs> I made rabbit blood, but it smells so good, it really touched me. <laughs> As I come to the last stories, I will throw my sad face and tell you something very funny. Friends, my brother was a little monkey-like person when he was little. Because he was a monkey, he used to gnaw on cupboards. And by cupboard, I mean gnawing on the refrigerator. Whether it's stabbing the tires of the refrigerator, forking them, that sort of thing. And there was also something like this. He would take the sausage from the refrigerator and hide it under the bed, under the couch, and eat it secretly, in a dusty, dusty way, sitting behind the couch, hiding behind the curtain. He would eat sausage there alone, and he was eating raw, uncooked sausage. <laughs> I think that's why it happened like that. Oh well, I'll taste it with sugar. Now it's good. I like it. I'm back to my childhood, and it makes me feel very happy. That's all my stories, friends. If you have such strange, interesting recipes and childhood memories, share them with me in the comments. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Like my video too. See you soon. I love you guys so much.